Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to use Jenkins TestNG plugin to view our TestNG results in Jenkins. So let's get started and here you can see I have started my Jenkins and in the last session we have created this Selenium test one job and if I go here and go to configure you can see the details of this job so we have added this job and in the build section we have added this command to run our job inside Jenkins so these are the commands to run our job from command line and we have added it inside a Jenkins job so just in case you have not watched the last session you can watch that where I have explained how to get Jenkins how to download and start and set up Jenkins and then add our job in Jenkins and now we can go to manage Jenkins so on the Jenkins main page dashboard go to manage Jenkins and if you go down you will find an option for manage plugins go here and if you go to the available section and search for testng here so search testng and you will get this plugin testng results you can also click here and go to the URL of this plugin and you can read about it so these are the features and how your reports will look like so if I show you the screenshots you can see this is how the results will look like the trends will look like and different reports will look like metrics so here click on this and say install without restart or you can download now and install after restart I'm going to select install without restart and let us wait for this installation to get completed so yes this is completed now and I will go back to my Jenkins and go to my job selenium test one and go to configure and here if i go to post build actions and go to this drop down you will see this option publish test ng results and this option you will get only after you have added the test ng results plugin so click here and here you will find this section where you have to add your test ng results xml location now if you go to your project if i go to my xml and i can show you if i go to test output you will find this test results xml so this is the test ng results xml here and i have to give the location now you can give the complete absolute location or you can also do one thing you can get your project location so go to properties and take your copy your project location and then in your Jenkins job if you go up and in the general section if you click on advanced you can select this use custom workspace and give the location of your project so I have already given this and now what you can do is you can leave this as it is because it will take the custom workspace location and then search for testngresults.xml or you can give the complete uh, location as well you can also go to advanced and here are some more settings that you can say escape test description string escape exception messages so all this threshold to mark builds unstable so you can say if you are want that until four tests have failed or two tests have failed it should not be marked as unstable so all this you can set here so this is to mark build unstable this is the threshold to mark build failed so th this all you can set here and then I will just say apply and save and now I will go to build now and build the project again so let us see what happens now and I can go here and go to the console output and see what happens so it does the login and the test is completed and let us see what happens now so the build is successful and you can see test ng report processing start here looking for test ng results reports in working workspace using this pattern and it has found and now it is processing and it has completed so it is successful so if you go now back to your project you will find a section here test ng results here you will find a section you can go here and now you can see from build number three we are getting this result and you can click here and here you can see all the details 
so if you see we have just run a single test so that is why we are getting a single test here this is the package name so you can see the test that I ran was test one dot Java if I show you in my form dot XML this we have already learned in the earlier session how to run from command line and this is test one dot Java and this is inside my demo package so if I go to my demo package this is my demo package and this is test one dot Java file this was a test that got executed so you can click on this package and you can see the duration fail difference skip etc go to the demo and here you can see the details test one and then status is pass and the duration start time etc click here and you will get all these details along with this chart now this is only a single run so now if we run it again you can see all the details here set up tear down all the methods everything and if you click you will find details for everything let me go back and run it again so I will say build now and it will run it again and let me see the logs as well so it opens a browser does a login and logs out and it is done so build is successful and it is finished and if I go back to my project and now you can see the test ng result trend is coming here so you can see fail pass and skipped so after two runs you will start getting this trend here and this will show you all the details so you can see fail pass and you can click and you can see the details here as well so this is how you can use test ng plugin in Jenkins I hope this session was very useful for you if you face any issues you can let me know and I will try to help you as soon as I can and also share your knowledge with others and I hope this all was very useful for you. Thank you so much for watching.